What is happening and welcome to another Photography Talk episode. And friends, well, as the title probably gave it away, this is the next installment, the next edition of the 2022 Metal Print Shootout. Now, friends, if this is your first video that uh, you've seen in this entire series, let me get you up to speed as far as what to expect from watching this video. Now, this is the fourth year that we've done these sort of shootouts. Actually, we started out doing just canvas print shootouts, and then last year we added the metal print shootout. So we've been doing these style shootouts for with metal. This is our second year. With canvas, we've done it four years in a row. And the reason why we do this here is Many of you are heading over to Google and typing in best canvas print or best metal print onto Google. And you're gonna find a bunch of websites out there that are going to happily give you a list of printer or print companies that you can choose from. And they put them in, here's number one, here's number two, here's number three. The downside to this and really where it's kind of an unfair situation for you is, these websites have never even touched a print from these companies before. Instead, what they're doing is they're taking some photos off the website where they pick, you know, that prints these things, put them in front of you in a list format, uh, and hey, this so-and-so company is the best out there. Again, that's unfair to you because they haven't compared it and they've never touched the print from that company. So we do things a little different, and as I've said previously before, this what you're gonna watch here is our answer to that, that very question right there. What is the best print out there? Now I'm gonna share with you in a moment, I'm gonna crack open this print. I just notice this has a big old footprint in it. We talk about, in a moment you talk, you'll talk. you hear me talking about uh, shipping process and here's a good example, a boot print on your print. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a big ass boot right there. That's like a size 16 right there, Jesus. Any rate, we put these videos together to help you be able to go out there and make better educated decisions uh, on what print that you're going to get. As I mentioned a moment ago, you may agree with me, you may not, but at the end of the day, if you go out there and spend your hard earned money on a print from whatever company that we're reviewing, you have a good idea as far as what your dollar is going to get you. Now, we also do these in small little bite-sized little videos versus in the past, we basically put all them together and you get like a two hour long video. Nobody wants to sit and watch a two hour long video. So instead we put these small little little uh, videos together on each company. And if you wanna take a look at some of the other companies that we've tested so far for that year, or depending upon when you're watching this, you can go down in the description below and you can actually see who we crowned as the winner for that particular year, which we have a few companies left for 2022. So we're not quite there yet at the time of this recording. Now, before we dive into this, as I said a moment ago, you find some value with this video, we sure would appreciate you crushing the heck out of that like button down below because it really does help with the whole YouTube algorithm and tells us, hey, you appreciate all the hard work and time that we put into those videos. That said, my friends, pull up a seat in, let's go. Okay, friends, let's grab my trusty knife. Let's see the who the heck this is from. This is from Shutterfly. Okay, box right off the get-go. We have that big, Jesus, that is, that, can't, that is a 13 inch footprint there. That's a big boot print there. At any rate, let's crack this open and let's see. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we have a fold out style box. The packaging is rather inexpensive, but I'm glad to see that it is nestled inside on a, a thicker piece, which we'll get to in a moment. But as I've said before in previous videos, how the packaging is put together really does matter because depending upon where you're ordering from and how far this that print has to go to get to you, FedEx, UPS, uh, DHL, whoever is shipping this thing, or I'm sorry, bring this from the printer over to you, is potentially drop kicking that print or in this case, stepping on it. So you wanna make sure well, that's where the packaging really is, what I'm trying to say, comes is very, very important. Now, in this particular case, I do like that they have the print, I mean, it's just taped to this 
thick piece of cardboard. I mean, this is a heavy duty piece of cardboard here. So that's cool. So as this thing is kind of making its way over and so forth, that is recessed in here. That's gonna protect this from kind of side impacts and so forth. Where this doesn't protect the, uh, the, the print is from what you just saw right there, that footprint. Now, fortunately, this is a flat piece, but if this was a, uh, a, a canvas print, that boot print, with this sort of packaging would have been problematic. Uh, or if this had a metal, or I'm sorry, a um, anything that could bend or break, that boot print right there, regardless of how great of a packaging this is here from side impacts, that boot print would have gone right into it. So, let's, actually, let me see here. Oh, here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, here we go. You're incredible. You really take the hell out of the thing out here. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. We have it wrapped in a pretty decent quality plastic on that thick piece of cardboard. On the back of this here, hanging instructions. So they give you a, I see the back for a hanging template. So they actually, okay, so you get instructions and a template if you so-called need it. All right. So, as I said in prior videos, this is not a photo that I took. This was a licensed image that I had picked up this year for some very specific reasons. I always forget which is up and down with this particular shot here. Um, but I wanted it because of this big blue area here. You have the drops on here where I can kind of gauge uh, sharpness. If a company has kind of a wacky... Uh, printing process or the jets on their printers are kind of mucked up. Uh, you can get some wackiness in big colors area, this banding and so forth. The drops, I can see how sharp things are. And there's a lot of color on here, vibrant colors, that I can gauge from as well. And in this particular case right now, what I'm looking at is just that, the colors on this. And I can tell you the... The blue and the greens look pretty good. The red feels like it's a bit lost there compared to the original. The noise level isn't bad, but it's not the best that I've seen. On the back, I mean, this is a no thrills <laughs> setup here. Uh, so there's no frame you have. I'm wondering why the tape is on there. They, well, actually, they probably glued it on there, forgot to take it off. I could speculate. Okay, so that's not, okay. All right. Now, the tape on the back of here, I think it's kind of cheap. Uh, it looks cheap. Uh, it takes away from that curb appeal. Um, I'm guessing they had it on there while the glue was setting to make sure that that remained on there. I mean, it's definitely really on there. But seeing that tape on there kind of looked a little cheap. Again, I'm picking apart literally A to Z. Because many of you are going to be drop shipping these directly to clients. And when a client takes this out of the box, your print out of the box, that acts as a representation of who you are as a professional. So again, I'm literally picking everything apart and pointing things out. Again, you may agree, you may not. It may, a big deal, may be a big deal, it may not. But at the end of the day, as I keep saying over and over again, if you decide to spend money to pick up a print, you know what your dollar's gonna get. So personally, I don't like the tape on there. I think it looks cheap. The back of this here, again, it's it's just very, um, it's very basic. Again, we see the, uh, the Chromalux. Uh, stamp on the back, so, um, yeah, let's take a look at the scorecard for Shutterfly.
All right, friends, and there you go. This has been the 2022 Shutterfly Metal Print Review. Now, just a reminder, if you want to take a look at some of the other companies that we have reviewed so far this year, scroll on down to the description below. We'll keep those updated as we release a new video. I'm trying to get these out once every week, and so we should be... Uh, made a noise. We should be uh, complete with the metal print shootout here in just the next handful of weeks. And then ultimately at the end, we're going to have a separate video, which is going to crown the winner, kind of review uh, all the prints for that year. And then we'll crown the winner for 2022. And depending upon when you're watching this video, that link may be down below as well. But friends, this was another fun video to put together. It's that time where I'm going to ask you to do all that YouTube stuff because, hey, it's very, it's important to us. So consider hitting that subscribe button because we'd love to have you part of the family. Hit that like button because, hey, you know what that does? And crush that bell. So therefore, every single time that we come out with a new video, just like this one, YouTube's going to notify you and, hey, we get to see each other again. And with that said, friends, that is all I have here for you today. So I'm going to be shutting off these cameras so you get out there, stay healthy, and take your best shot.